brush strokes. And I'm just gonna got a some text here, which I'm just gonna select. I'm just gonna copy that. Of course I could use colours and all those sort of things. I'm just gonna use text as the fill. So edit copy. I'm gonna go over to another document and I'm gonna select brush stroke. Now the brush stroke I'm gonna use one of the graphic extras, hexagon brushes. I'm just gonna select this one. I'm gonna apply it in black and I'm just gonna just fill this document just near like a stained glass window. I'm just gonna just create a little bit of a not that easy. There. But of course you can create as complex or as basic designs. I'm just gonna move that slightly over. Just line it up there. So basically that's a stained glass effect straight away. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the text and I'm gonna paste it paste it into these little uh, white areas here. So it's just going to fill this design up. So I'm just going to now go over here and I'm going to use the magic wand. I'm going to select that area. Now go over to edit and paste into. And there you've got text pasted into that. Now instead of just going straight text, I could obviously just do each of these sections. I'm just going to just do some slight variations. So I can just kind of scale it out a bit. Not too much because it, obviously it's a a raster format uh, design so you don't want to make it out too big quickly flatten select the other area paste special again paste in this one I'm just going to go maybe just a rotation instead of actually scaling I can actually just rotate it slightly again layer flat flatten magic wand again down here and of course, you like I say, you could obviously create a massive document. So it would be about, say, like 100, 200 sort of uh, bits of stained glass window and then just fill each of those with text. So I'm just obviously just doing a small number here. So I'm just going to paste that in. I can now, I'm going to rotate it the other way around. So it's actually upside down. And of course, you could use other text as well. Of course, you could also color the design. So you don't have to obviously just go with uh, black and white. Now I'm just going to go layer, flatten again, magic wand again, paste, paste into, and I'm going to apply, in this case I'm just going to modify that, I'm just going to blur it as well. So Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, flatten again, select that area, edit, Paste special, paste into. Now, of course, as it's a text layer, you, you can just go over here. You can actually just uh, go over here and say distort as well. Don't have to go with scale or rotate. You can actually distort the text, make it sort of go off three dimensional. Right, and flatten again. Magic wand, edit, paste special, paste into. Rotate that one, and of course, I could say maybe another blur. And finally, the last one, select that one, paste special, paste into, and I'm just going to have it there as before. And I'm just going to also, what I'm going to do, select, reselect, just going to select that area. I can actually do the standard paste. I'm going to go for background colour and 50%. So, okay, there you have it. Use text and obviously brush strokes in combination with magic wand and selections to create interesting sort of uh, stained glass text filled designs. Hope you found this of interest.